<clears throat> All right, it's time to do a real quick video showing a desaturation detection working in real time. So what I have here, this is one idea of how I'm going to do my um, phase link because I have to connect um, cathode to emitter from the low side IGBT to the emitter on the high side IGBT. And then that's actually your phase link. So this will be the phase wire that comes out. Now to simulate a dead short, I'm not even using the high side IBGT. I just hook positive straight up to the phase wire. So it's simulated like the high side is on or shorted, whichever you want to call it. <clears throat> and then the negative, I just, this is the leaf cap. This thing's huge, it's amazing. Um, just hooked up, I labeled positive and negative, hooked it all up. Then I have a, <clears throat> you can see my wires here. This wire would be, it would simulate a negative bus bar. And you can see I can read the current through there. I'll do that tomorrow night because I have to have to play with this. I have a 3.9 volt zener in there, so it's set the trip really early. You can see right now everything is switching. And what I have set up is just the low side um, switch is pulsing at one hertz, just one time a second. And um, just for 10 microseconds long, because or yeah, 10 microseconds, just because I wanted to build a have a program to do that in that chip just so that as soon as I turn it on, it does that. So <clears throat> turn it off, it goes away, turn it back on, and I'll do it just in a second here. Three, two, one, but now <clears throat> should come anyway. I just have it uh, measuring the gate. There it is. So all you're seeing is the gate. So what I have the power to, you know, feed um, power in which I actually hooked up. Um, this blue wire here goes up, comes around, and it actually kind of confused myself. Yeah, okay, so yeah, this wire here comes out, it goes to the positive on my huge 400 and whatever volt um, <clears throat> supply here. It actually does around 411 volts. And then the negative goes to the cap, goes there, and links back over there. So now I can turn it on. I have it turned way down right now. Just make sure. And you can see as soon as it comes on, nothing's happening yet. And watch what happens when I turn the voltage up just a little bit. All of a sudden you can see it's starting to shut off. <clears throat> and we only have like very low voltage. We'll turn it up a little more. And you can see it peaking up. But you can see the desaturation actually kicking in. <clears throat> you can actually see right here. Where it's starting to turn it off. So right now, I have a few things I can go just to build a test. <clears throat> See if I can do this with one hand. Right there, it's showing about 25 volts, so it should be safe to safe to measure this all at once. Yeah, 28 volts. You can see it tripping. We can turn it up. You can see the amperage spiking. So we can actually turn it up a little more. And there, you can see it shutting off earlier because the amps are hitting hot faster. You see there, it's 51 volts. Desaturation's working. Go a little more. Actually here, you can see it shutting off really fast. We're at 80, 90 volts. Basically it's a dead short, it's trying to come back through right now. About 100 and then we'll stop for the night. So there's about 100 volts, shutting off. 106 volts, that's pretty cool. Let's leave that going for a second. You can see no, no heat even being generated in the IGBT. It's able to take that. It's, it's a, you know, one, once per second pulse. It's not a huge deal. Now the amperage available from this cap might not be quite enough to be able to make this thing really have issues. But I can turn this down, and you can watch as the capacitor inside here bleeds down, and this cap bleeds down. That slowly shrinks, and it starts to turn off like normal. <clears throat> it's really cool. 
So that just proved the desaturation detection working and there's absolutely no issues. Basically, I just put like 108 volts or whatever you saw there straight into a dead short through this low side IGBT and it was totally fine. Anyways, it's 11 p.m. I think I'm going to go to bed. Um, I actually let everything bleed down before I shut it off.